Okay. Uh, we in the building, we in the building. The party. 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 You get it. Hey, boy. He's a little late with that. Hey, Y'all. What you trying to do? Can we not party? Can we not party? Can we not Can we not party? Can we not Cause we supposed to have that chemistry. You supposed to be like kissing styles. We ain't got no chemistry. I can tell. It's Seventy one episodes. This is right. Yeah, because you was crying in the car. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> what was you crying in the car about? Shut the fuck up. Nothing. Is... Wait, how about your week? Can we crazy. can we get right into the to your week? Just crying about none. Episode seventy one. That's right. We in the building with me, your host, yeah. the one and only, the Pod Piper himself, Mister oh. Evan Cumbest. We in the building. That's right. We back in the studio. So it's shout outs to Sky's Crescent Radio. Shout out to City World Radio. Shout out to Jay. Shout out to Tone helping us out with the cameras. Cameras on. Cameras on. Cameras is on. Shout out everybody watching us on YouTube, Spotify, iTunes. Spreaker, um, iHeartRadio, Heart Radio, everywhere you listen to, we highly appreciate you guys. And I'm here with my co co host, Akai's in the building, aka I didn't write nothing for you this week, so you still. Akai Ana Grande. Hey! Okay. If you, if no! You, if you still rocking with that uh, one. Janaya Kaiko! Oh, yeah, you bite. You bite. Yeah, Janaya Kaiko. You're definitely Janaya Kaiko. You bite. And we got. G dot next to me, aka Yo, what up? It's your boy G dot, aka Mo guy, aka slap your favorite Twitter handle, aka give me them toes, girl, aka yeah. young <laughs> author, not the ant eater. You know what I mean, <laughs> go to Amazon, get my book, Dead End Thrill. Corny, <laughs> nah, that's kind of that's, that's kind of fire, aka Barack Obama. You know, no, that, that, one, that one's not, not no anime game. That one is not anime no, com no. right now. We, I thought say. you were Bodega Poppy. I'm not gonna be that. Okay, we can still be both take a poppy. But guys, that. we have a special guest with us this week. Woo! Yes. That's right. She's a listener of the show. Yes. So she is a friend of the show. Yes. She's also a musician. Yes. She makes music. She also is a... Dropped an EP. Woo! Okay, can I... I'm getting it. <laughs> you didn't even know about the EP. I did. Oh, I did yeah. my research. Did I'm an avid Oh my God, interviewer. I had research? Yeah. I oh my exactly. God. <laughs> <laughs> Program director, yeah, you know we out here. Yeah, he, she is the yeah. He's mixed and mastered yes. the last few Yeah, he did mix and master last few, the last seven. Oh, the last seven. Because Tone hating. Tone's a fucking hater. No, Tone's telling the truth with that. <laughs> no, but guys, we got Alexis Zero in the building. Woo! Hey guys, thank hey. you for having me. Thank you. For I'm coming. like, no, I told you guys before. I'm like so excited, and I like actually, I listened to like. This podcast and maybe like two others. So wow! Hey. Oh shit, we made it. We made it. We lit. We in the Top rotation. Three. Top three. We in the rotation, guys. How are we feeling today? How we feeling this week? Mental health checking. What's up? What's I, up? <laughs> why nobody answered first? <laughs> Everybody <laughs> answered me. me. I mean, you, I saw this off, host. It's too early in the week to tell. Mm, too early. It's Monday morning. How was y'all last week? Well, how was the weekend? What everybody do? I heard you cried on the way here. <laughs> you heard wrong. <laughs> so what everybody else do this weekend? Oh, can I y'all can't. talk to the pop people? <laughs> why why should we joking? talk to the pop people if we, we all lying? We lying? You sure? We live. So, what'd you do this weekend, Akai? What I did this weekend? Janae Kaiko. I was in the studio. Ah, yes. What'd you do? Listening to the kids. <laughs> making better music than me. <laughs> you was in the studio? With, you hating on the youth, bro? No, no, no. I'm, I'm, yo, I'm not even going to lie. It was like probably the most heartfelt moment I had at my job. I was listening to their music. I was like, yo. As bad as the content is, <laughs> you guys actually made something that could get played somewhere. Some quality. And I was happy. I was like, yo, they're like actually taking like, you know, nice. a stint into like being professional. Mm-hmm. In music. So that really warmed my heart. Are you going to lock it into a 360? Um, no, nah, I'm probably just going to see about like, you know, taking 10% off the top and then probably seeing from there like, you know, or whatever. Uh, you can hit them with thirty. With they don't. They don't so know. They don't know that, much. Yeah, they're not going. You know how easy it is to take. You know, take advantage of these kids these days. Black kids, yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's I'm not gonna do that. It's generational. It's generational. No, no, it's terrible. <laughs> oh, all right. Fine. Get down with how, the how was your weekend? Man. How was my weekend? Yeah. What about our guests? Let's go there first. Okay. <laughs> let's not be rude. Yeah, let's not be rude. Okay. Counterclockwise. How was, how was your weekend? I. It was good. I mean, I didn't do much. I. I did like an open mic, and I kind of bombed it <laughs> I, i've been there <laughs> i've been there but you were performing I, wait, 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 yeah no i bombed I, it though because I, I took a year hiatus off mm-hmm. and i was like you know what let me practice before my show my show at the bitter end on december 15th oh, plug, 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 <laughs> you plug, know plug, 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 um but 7 to 7 30 p.m get your tickets um <laughs> uh-uh. 
don't know. <laughs> My headphones not plugged in. I have no idea what this podcast sounds like right now. They're not plugged in. <laughs> it's aesthetic. <laughs> <laughs> I have these all for the aesthetic money. It's for the YouTube. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there, we there we are. It's all okay, for the YouTube. Now, now back to you. Evan. See what happens when Tone don't master shit? He don't know what he could do. I already knew. <laughs> yeah, I already knew. Whoa. Whoa. Now, <laughs> now turn and tone this mic on. <laughs> First of all, my headphones are on, so I don't know who you're talking so, about. So who's, who's the fool now? You're wearing headphones that don't even work. Uh-oh. 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 Roast. I'm a Comedy fool in a man's shoes, but the, guess what? The listeners can't tell. Oh. You just told them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I could be saying it to be and funny. They don't know when I'm serious and when I'm not. Still wearing headphones just for no reason, just to keep his ears. And, ears. and I got my hat on forward too, so they can't even see my face. So I don't even know if this is really me or not. I can tell them my swag from Shut the last episode I was on. <laughs> I had my brim mad low. Get off my swag. Son. Yo, <laughs> first off, how was that open mic? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I had a question to be like I do comedy I know I understand it's you know you oh, can bomb do a segue. no you can bomb at an open mic when you do stand up comedy because you yeah. know based on, but how do you bomb no even if it? well I mean I just didn't practice for like a long ass time so I took like a I took a year hiatus yeah and I was like let me practice before my show you know get the feel of like a crowd that doesn't know me because I just I straight up I just went alone to this open mic. Um, I was still the best singer there, but like I just Talk fucked your shit, up. Talk your on the shit. Swag. <laughs> <laughs> Don't matter. <laughs> but um, yeah. I mean, I just I kind of bombed. I like just messed up a bunch of or... no. I just messed up a bunch of chords on the like I forgot oh. my own song. Also, oh, you play instruments. Too. I yeah. So uh, I played my guitar and I forgot like <laughs> chords to my. That's exactly <laughs> what happened. <laughs> Boy, get, get the, the fuck, fuck out of here. Right. Evan, what's I'll that old out. adage? If you bomb at an open mic, isn't it similar to like if a tree falls in a forest <laughs> and nobody's there to hear it? Yeah, Did because no me? one I knew was there. So as far as I and all, everything that people got on Instagram were, were like the only times I didn't fuck up. So yeah. I was like, yeah, I fucking killed it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Shit, stunned for the grave. So as so far as they bomb. know. Yeah. 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 You're still popping. Yeah. They don't you know. You're going to get sued by every <laughs> comic <laughs> in existence. How many lawsuits do you want on your phone? I've only had four. Five. You'll get another one. You'll but... get another cease and desist. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Don't air out my grievances on air live. Come on, man. I didn't know. Live was... on air while we're recording. Damn. I didn't know J Bell Bell was real. Yo, where do y'all want to start? <laughs> we can start. With the Maryland man that decided to rob some old dude. Like that was gonna be my drama to mama. Why? <laughs> Where's my music? Oh no. Actually, yo, we oh, haven't oh, had that in a couple that? of weeks, so yeah, let's. Is there? Drama for your mama. Uh, I I love seeing his. You can freestyle the music. <laughs> <laughs> Where you at? I'm sorry, you bombing. I, I knew I wanted you to get a feel for that I'm bombing. I, I had <laughs> once, and I never did it again. I hope Tom wait, deleted wait. that footage. You have How to put you yourself bomb? in no. uncomfortable situations. You wait, you, you rap? Tried. You rap, G? I, first off, I do rap. Wait, you do? Second you got some off, bars? Second off. I got some bars. I, I bombed um, doing stand-up. So, Colin, Kaepernick's been in a lot of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of bombs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he threw a couple of bombs when he did that workout, right? The, the yeah, NFL workout. Yeah, but Jay-Z's man. tight with him for making the whole thing. As a, a well, pub. Jay-Z's the one that made him do it. Yeah, but he I, made, I'm it, not talking he about made it up. A I said it stunt. jokingly to not really talk about it. This is one of those topics that we're never going to talk about. But it's a topic. Wait, but why? But it's not. Because he watches the NFL. Because it's way too serious and I watch way too much of it, so I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> too, too into it. I've been watching way too much NFL. It's I don't watch any NFL. Don't put that narrative on me. <laughs> Guys, how we feel about women who um are aggressive and they make the first move during Sounds the courtship like phase of dating? Been aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> Help. aggressive That's what now. happens when a woman's aggressive. <laughs> In the courtship part of um dating. Like, like yo, let me take you out, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Or like aggressive, like in the bedroom, like no, in the courtship like, phase. Like that's I said the courtship <laughs> phase. What is the courtship Spendos phase? Out. Is that before talking, after talking, texting? I feel like that's like just making you? like the first move, just being like, oh, hey. okay, so right? Like taking yeah, initiative. no, like yo, I like you, boy, like, yo, let's go out. Yo, I, 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 I let's go out. Like, what? I'm asking. What? <laughs> no, I like that's cool. I think I I usually do it more of like if I'm like if I'm saying something, so I'll say like, hey, like I like you, or like I'll say, hey, like you want to like go on on a date, but like. As far as making the first move as like a kiss, I've never done it. I will. Mm. Ne- I don't think I will ever do it. I'm just so scared. <laughs> what? You scared of? Like what man's gonna reject okay, it? Okay, okay. Do you want to hear a really stupid story? Yes. yes. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. So, it was like my freshman year of college, and um, 
I wasn't dating him at the time, but it was now my ex because we ended up dating after this. Mm-hmm. Which I don't know why he decided to date me after that because <laughs> because of this dumb move I made. So there was this thing I did with my mom, and like every time she tried to like. I would say, like, Mom, like, I want to give you a kiss on the cheek. She would be like, okay. And then I would just, like, stick out my tongue instead of <laughs> instead of kissing her. She'd be like, what the fuck? It was such a dumb thing that I did. And so I'm sitting at the laptop with this dude, at my laptop with this dude, and I'm showing him music on my playlist. And I'm like, this song is so dope. And he went to go kiss me on the cheek, and I ducked. And he was like, what are you doing? I was like, I thought you were going to lick my cheek. <laughs> It was, wow. yeah. it was so bad. <laughs> um, so yeah. So I'm I am on some stupid shit. <laughs> well I mean you, you y'all still got together afterwards, so it worked out. Yeah. Why did it work? Why did it work? I wasn't really I just don't think I like lost interest in him. I just wasn't as into him as he was into me, kind of mm. thing. Triggered. Oh, triggered. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sounds like something from Sound like it wasn't oh. your typical love story oh. available oh. on Amazon. Oh. Sounds like you guys had some dead end thrills right yeah, there. Yeah. yeah. Oh. yeah. Mm. So, okay, how do you feel about a woman who's, you know, a little bit aggressive and I feel like, you know, you should be more like open and vocal. Like, you know, if you if you like somebody and you're expressing it, there's no problem if you're like being the first one to be taking initiative. I mean, Facts. Every, so it yeah. shouldn't just be like man, woman, like all. Oh, just get rid of those gender yeah. gender like, roles. You yeah. people at the end of the day, like, and also it's like okay. the worst thing you can do is bottle up something that you're feeling for so long. Exactly. Um, which is like literally my entire EP is like me yeah. is all the shit I just bottled up for so long. <laughs> and um, so the EP is called Healing. It's on Spotify, Apple Music, all those platforms it's on right next to the can we not podcast it's, hey. <laughs> it's like right when you for go to some the, reason <laughs> yep they're right right next to each it, other it's yep the, it's the metrics yep and if you go right to your amazon your cookies will have you tied up right there next to dead end thrills Ooh, right there crazy how did they do that all three of those entities are i tell you man algorithms did <laughs> 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 you but, type um, in her name alexa zero sure like, I've been healing. She said the name of the project was healing. Healing. There's right. a lot of. There's probably a, a million cool things. Yeah. <laughs> that's one word. <laughs> exactly. I mean, maybe we spelled it like cool with like a three. Janae Kaiko made a song called "Calm Down." Like you don't think hey, there's a million other yeah. what happened? <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. First off, I didn't hear the song, but I heard everybody was giving like a lot of flack to. I heard the on. one bit. Like there's the like verse? no, there's one. Is this the song where? It's the one with Big Sean, right? Yeah. There's a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> lot of them. <laughs> well, the most recent one. Something about he like made her come five times. Is that nine. a thing? Nine. 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 <laughs> Sorry, Big Sean. <laughs> like, <laughs> Wait, well, that's a as feat. a guy, that's a... That's a feat. That's something okay. that you, know, you always... That's do. a little yeah. excessive. I feel like I would... <laughs> What? Right, so wait, hey, as a woman, I think I would die, honestly. Because you know that story? It's like that guy, like... Came twenty six times and like died. It's fake news. That's, that's me. That's that's it was, that's well, I was right there on the verge. I hit twenty four <laughs> one day. I, was... I saw some meme that was like, "So twenty five is okay though." <laughs> it's on the you break don't of get death. to say shit like <laughs> what? that. What? And nobody addressed. He was alone. <laughs> You've been doing this for <laughs> seventy one. He was alone when it happened. <laughs> no. I was. Why would I not? <laughs> you definitely gonna I, be alone 12. after doing that for twenty four times. <laughs> twelve. That's my. That's my number. Jeez. Amateur. How do you have that? Oh, uh, <laughs> I was going to ask a question that I didn't want to have on air. But anyway. do we believe Big Sean? Because he that. said that. Yeah, I believe that. I believe that. Yeah. I've done that. Yeah, I, nine times? Progress. Because, because I, listen, I, I feel like you, you nah, could. Nah, that's weird. <laughs> uh, I, I like that. I like that. I'll make a call. You know, you know, you see my my FaceTime. <laughs> yeah, I give Ew. it up. Just <laughs> want the audience, the viewing audience, to know that this nigga's Mr. FaceTime. That's your, that is your nickname, Mr. FaceTime. <laughs> but yeah, nine times. I feel like nine is too specific of a number. Like you, he wouldn't. He didn't say ten. Like he's like it was nine. He was rapping, yeah, so it was real. He was rapping. You got to yeah, rhyme. But the nine didn't rhyme with anything else. Like, but don't when you think to. about the numbers, you can't just say one. Twice throws he, the whole sound of the verse off. He said like, not because he really killed the cat. It was a play on. Ooh, we wasn't mm. even thinking. Ooh, mm. Janae Kaiko with, with the with hey. the with the <laughs> lyrical breakdown. Hey. Ooh, where else would you find this type of content? But yo, I'm I'm sick of favorite sick of Janae. Never. I'm about to say when are we gonna finally address that Janae um, Kaiko is possibly one of the top ten most toxic women in music. 
Yeah. No, 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 no. She, she scares me a little bit. I saw her at a Bernie rally and she was falling asleep. A burning rally? Wait, burning. No, Bernie Sanders. Oh. <laughs> I she was like, that was a some women. A burning. A burning. Burning. She was on her phone the whole burning, time. Man. You know what would be happening. Okay. You know women get together and they just burn shit from the <laughs> I think besides, belongings. Yeah. besides Lorraine or Bobbitt, Janae is up there as far as like toxic women. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She yeah. has Big Sean like under... There's an on button? Wait, have I not been speaking this whole time? So, Jeanette, you were saying, go into detail. The people need to hear my voice. It was only him. It was only him. It was only him. That's why she talked to him while you were talking. Because <laughs> I now, can't hear me. why Very do cool. you think Janae Akaiko is because the most? Because Big Sean is locked in a dungeon somewhere under distress. He can't forced get to make out. these verses. Yeah. Oh. He can't get out. And he's forced to take these pictures. What the hell happened That video now? that they what shot was in Hawaii. Thing? Okay, Hawaii, yeah. That's a vacation that she tricked them into going to. You think he like Hawaii? Damn. He Big Sean like is from Hawaii. Detroit. He, like he doesn't want to go to Hawaii. First of all, she called Detroit. him a bitch ass nigga in the song and didn't take it out. And this is like so? the third time in he the said same she's song. Kill him. You get this? Yes. yes. <laughs> Literally the same song. She's like, she, she cleared just it. Shit on him, and he was like, I made you come nine times. <laughs> like, nah, I'm going into the list. Like, yes, he even tried queen. to sing it. He was like, and I made you come. He had uh, Ty Dolla Sign on the bed behind him. Like, it was, it was, oh, that's, that's nasty. That's, it wait, was nasty. Oh, no. That doesn't sound like not, not on the bed, on. but like behind, like the vocal. Let's go into some of the things that Janae Aiko had spoke upon. She All said, right. her verse two, I've been hearing things, seeing things. Seems that you're moving on from me. Of it? course you're on the scene with Little Miss Thing, mm-hmm. and trust me, she really don't want beef. That's besides the point. I'm disappointed as a homie. What is it you see? I want better for you moving forward, but what's better for you than me? Okay, mm. so That's some of the most off, toxic shit I've ever heard Ariana Grande is from Disney, and she doesn't want beef with you. No, like, you're right. As soon as they broke up, you know. You can't shit on my new ex. love. I mean, his, uh, that was his ex. That's love of his life. Who? Ariana? <laughs> yeah. No, God is the love of his life because he's of course he's black man. Better, you know what I mean? Exactly. Unite. It's a fact. The two most toxic, toxic men in the world. <laughs> what? Uh, uh, you and Tone, maybe? Exactly. Uh, Tone is not toxic. He's a child of God. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but no. Nah, in, in reality, like you can't say that in a song, and then people are just know. focusing on the other part where she was just like, "Oh, I'm, I'm been." Like traumatized and fucking, what'd she say? How are you traumatized because somebody broke up with you? Like, you need help. <laughs> Have you ever been traumatized because somebody broke up with you, Alexa? I've yes. been traumatized from a relationship, but not like because someone broke up with me. Tell it was a more. weird situation. Tell it's literally more. actually the relationship that the entire EP is about. Healing Ooh. on Spotify. Thus, right now. art came from it. That huh? same, that one in the same? One person. Wow. What's his name? Dang, that's yeah. <laughs> that. yeah, I was about to say it. Because the name is their name is healing, and that's available. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's available. No, because I listen. I know you guys don't name drop, so I was like, I want to respect the pod, so yeah. I wouldn't name drop. We name drop yeah. just in like a like no. a funny. Okay, yeah. well, yeah. he, the only reason why I feel like I shouldn't name drop him is because he like listened. Does you put him onto the can we not? <laughs> no. <laughs> Crazy. No, I don't talk to this person anymore. Uh, um, no, but he's that? like kind of famous, I guess. Okay, he's got a little notoriety. He's a Grammy, so it's like uh, they, give, they give those out. They give those. Yeah. out. Can we listen? If to you the participate in a song that way, no, you get a Grammy. See, if I told you what kind yeah, of music yeah. he does, it would give him away. Yes, yeah, so because you would that. know exactly who he is. Because yeah. it's a very small Zayn Malik. Oh, no, I'm not you doing fucker. No, I did. Okay, do you want to hear something actually? kind of cool though there was another guy with the grammy and i didn't realize who he was and he was like oh this artist i'm working with really cool this was like a couple months ago and i was like okay well cool whatever i realized he was playing me unreleased kendrick lamar music like he like he if you go on damn like he's Listed on there like this a, writer yeah oh. i was wow. like Dad, who wow. what and yeah so Davis. new kendrick lamar this music guy. is coming out it's really good <laughs> oh, it's fire it no it's really good Lit. Well, I don't know. want to give too much away, but I can tell you guys after right. one of the concepts. Yeah, that's fine. That's so cool. We know Is Drake Lamar featured on any of it? <laughs> I didn't hear any features, you, no. You need to stop. I like how we just turned off the two snippets. You, you were steering this Janae yeah. conversation. Yeah, you, she's so more you, toxic than Lorena Bobbitt. Let's hear some, let's, let's get some reasons. Because she said, what, what's the first line in that? I saw. I see you moving on. 
Mm-hmm. She could have left it there and then started singing about some other shit. How she wait, went. wait, I'm gonna get to the line when she went a bitch ass. As a writer, though, when you're in your emotions like that, sometimes that shit just like comes out and you have no control over it, and then it's just out into the universe. But like. Mm, I get a little bit of like angry energy from her. I don't know. I just, bitter, but I yeah, under, I bitter woman. There's saying. only so much that you can write about, like to go through the process of like putting something out about a certain person over and over and over and over again. Then you've got to realize that like there may be a problem here. Like yeah. go to the therapy. Yeah. She's yeah, basically saying, "Come back here and let me like ruin your life some more." And then she posted a picture of her dressed up in all blue flags, and Snoop Dogg was like, "Corib," and she was like, "You know it." <laughs> oh wow this is fact. that's crazy yeah. I, but she already said it in her other song but yeah, she was like I, I got my goon friends holding niggas. you hostage yeah. and you know yeah then, then she, she goes on to say in this song she goes oh I was, I was traumatized and suicidal I'm sick and tired I am not to blame yes you are um, yes you are once I felt a way, but not today. I'm not afraid. Now I can say, get your bitch ass off my phone. Please leave me alone. I'm not your girl anymore. You need to watch your tone. But before you do that, come do this fucking feature for me. And and then Hawaii. she said, mm-hmm. leave me alone. And here's, a, here's 16 bars for you. Yeah. And Sean goes on to say, you know I had these issues when you met me. Can we just talk stop your, right there? Talk can, your shit. Can, can we just, <laughs> <laughs> he, came through, he came through with one line that explained that entire... Mm. Like, yeah. kind of situation. You can't. I told you. She, you knew what it was from Joe. She was probably trying to change him. <laughs> like, all, don't Women, they all? Yeah. <laughs> don't, 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 I feel like they speak to a bigger thing. He says results of those past damages that I haven't dealt with. Mm. Mm, like, come on, man. He said, I only wanted what was best for you. Moving forward, but you backtracking with niggas that ain't shit that, wait, that ain't shit for you and don't belong around your aura. <laughs> Man, Talk like, about it. Like, right, come on. Come on. A we all defended see- a cop. Moral man. I fi- <laughs> <laughs> I'm hotel man. You didn't know? Hotel man? Oh. Anyway, no. Uh, I feel like it speaks to a bigger issue because I feel like the way they move together as not only just, like, lovers, but artists, they were trying to speak to, I guess, the dynamics of relationships. No. I feel like they were. They were working their shit out, but they also saw... <laughs> Have you ever point. listened to 20, 2088? They did that there. They did it. They do it a lot. Yeah, yeah that's the but problem. I feel like this was another instance of that. They need to like, stop. <laughs> they do it twenty eighty eight too. I hear you. I get that, but at the same time, if you're gonna be seen as toxic in a relationship like this, wouldn't it be best to kind of like show that you're growing from no. it? No. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta keep going. Back show with anything. We don't show. Don't want it. You don't show anything. Car, right? Don't show us growth. Yeah, but stop going back with your ex. To speak to it. Well, they're literally trying to get past their like past grievances. They're trying to get that closure. They're trying to figure out like, okay, where did we go wrong? What do I want for you? And let's put it in a song. Yeah. yeah, let's put it. Yeah, that Why? Rhyme. So yeah, there you go. Cool. That's that's unhealthy. That's fake. You're, right. you're, you're doing do we, it for for content. So is it, that's how I feel. But also, how do we feel about men who keep backsliding to their past lover? It's is it for is it for the vibe or it's, is it just for sex? It's a vibe. Yeah, I, it me, depends on the relationship. I feel like it depends on the past relationship with the person. Of course, and I think it also depends on what is the first initial slide into the person or the slide. <laughs> nope, back. not slide what, into the person. What, whatever, slide back. whatever the holiday is coming up. <laughs> hey, happy other birthday, St. Patrick's Day. Same. <laughs> I, I, I missed you. How's your mom? Happy Lee Ferrickson Day. Yeah, yeah. October 9th that. every year. <laughs> I tell you, awesome. you celebrate that train's yeah. never late. Yeah. Never late. <laughs> no, I think that sometimes, Alexa, what do you think the the, differenti- the differentiating factors between the two of vibe and for sex? Um, that's a good question. I feel like if it's just for sex, you get more of an immediate kind of like this is what I want. More hints, um, more what emojis. They, wrong. <laughs> they say I want to see you. Right. It's it's more of a call to action. Mm-hmm. Like it's more of like I. Oh, like what are you up to? Kind of thing. Like let's hang out. Like ugh, let's hang out is the worst thing a girl can hear, especially like they go <laughs> for for if they're let not vibing with home. someone. Does it work? Let me pull up my notes. No. Well, okay. For as a musician, this is the worst shit, and I hate this shit. And I called out people on my story, but I was like, when male musicians hit me up and they're like, "Let's collab," I'm like, mm, "Watch it." <laughs> I'm like, first of all, you're not good. Second of all, <laughs> <laughs> like, say your name, say your name, say your name. No. <laughs> Oh, which name? one? <laughs> like, this is too many. <laughs> Do you only date? Do I only date musicians? No, but it happens. 
Yeah. I mean, it's like when you're in a certain environment, you run into like the same kind of people. You date your coworkers sometimes. Do you date your... Uh, Ooh, you, I have a friend who is notorious for sleeping with her co-workers yeah. shout out girl yeah. i love you what's your name what's name i'm asking for names on air you don't know with her nothing's gonna happen yeah. <laughs> <laughs> about to get an application excuse me no i'm new here <laughs> hey, i was wondering if you knew any spots around <laughs> yeah that's pussy <laughs> hey. get off my podcast oh. <laughs> oh, see oh, that, was <laughs> <laughs> that was the wrong joint no, nah, but I mean, if if somebody's hitting you up for girls, do this shit too. It's not guys that just go back to their ex for sex. I don't know oh, if yeah. I've ever like. So okay, so my my ex from like a uh, probably like in the spring, right? Um, I had to go like pick up my stuff from his place, and all my friends were like, "You guys are gonna bang!" Like I know it. Like that's right. the thing that you do supposedly, right? No one can see it's my goodbye. air quotes. Yeah, right. So or like just have sex and just leave. Yeah. Um. But he wanted to as I was taking all my stuff, and he was like, "No, you don't need to take all your stuff. Like, you could leave some stuff here." I was yeah. like, "Damn, don't no." Take it all. He's like, "Don't take it all." I was like, "No, I gotta take it all." I was like, <laughs> "I gotta. I need to, you know, not like remove him from my life, but it's like, at that time, it was so like fresh." But you could like, have just left it there. You wanted to see him. No, she wanted to get, I had stuff. To get my she shit. I had, I had my sweaters stuff. for the winter. They yeah. were cute. I it's left getting... them there. How many of his sweaters do you have? I don't have any of his sweaters. You dropped them off. A yeah. real one. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I didn't The burning rally. Ah, oh, the burning rally. The burning Jane. rally. Ah. <laughs> it was the burning rally. So I told you, that's where they go. But, yeah. No, but he, like, tried to have sex with me, and I was like, bye. You shut it down? Yeah. I was like, it's, I, the first thing that came out of my head, I was like, this is going to fuck up my head. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I can't help these impulses. You didn't deserve it. Okay, you want to know why it was fucked up? Because the entire relationship we didn't have sex. <gasps> and now and all of a so sudden angry. you want to fuck? That's what I, broke that's up? what I said. I was like, oh, so now you want to fuck? Even though we didn't the whole fucking relationship. Yeah. I was like, bye. That's why I want to fuck. We're not together. No and then I was like, whoever <laughs> <laughs> knows like, he only wanted to fuck people he maybe wasn't in a girl- Maybe he doesn't fuck his girlfriends. It's religious stance. I support. Yeah, yeah you know. Because y'all wasn't married. Nah, nah. Because when it happened, it was very nice, but like. It barely happened. He was also a lot older than me. Did so you like, initiate oh, at all? Yeah. Um, did I initiate? All the time. Um, all the time. I can't. Women who are forward. <laughs> I almost, she, she just, I almost just said something really cool. Don't, don't. No, it's okay. This is, the, part, this is the part. This is the part where I go into another topic. <laughs> <laughs> Please do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, setting up the first date experience. Are you setting up a standard for yourself that you cannot live up to, or are you just being part of? You gotta go regular, regular. regular. You just keeping it together. Uh, yeah. There are certain parts of it I feel like that you sell yourself mm-hmm. because you're selling you yourself. Make a first impression, right? Yeah. Well, I mean it. It depends on what it really depends on what you're talking about. I'm not like being fake, but like I'm talking about the things that I love to do, and it, like I talk about my job for a little bit just because it's like small talk and shit like that. But mm-hmm. like, um, I'm never trying. Yeah, I'm never trying to be like a fake person. I'm trying right. to be me because the worst thing I can do is. You know, if someone I really like, if they don't text me or call me back, then it's like, you know, I was a fake person the whole time, apparently. But Yeah. So, okay. as men, how do we set up that first date experience? Um, I, I would definitely say I'm different from what I guess would be typical. Mm-hmm. Like, I would definitely want to enjoy and have an experience with the person. But I would also want to bring myself to the forefront, like Alexa said, but also try and do something that would allow that person to be comfortable bringing themselves forward. So like, what's like your example of a good first date? Good first date for me is um, if we've been talking for a minute, like something that we mutually like, we can enjoy it without having to be like, oh, well, hey, you like this, you like that? No, we talked about it already. We went to this museum. We went to this place to eat. Like we talked about it. But aside from that, we should also be able to talk about each other and not just the thing. Mm-hmm. I, I feel right. like a good first date for me is like we should be able to envelop ourselves in each other instead of just being like, oh, th- this was slamming. Yeah. No, like no. I think movies are such bad first dates. Yeah. It's like you I go mean, to you dinner. Unless, you, unless yeah. you do it right. Unless you do it right. Well, if, if you go to dinner before, I feel yeah. like it kind yeah. of is a preface. But also it's just like you're – I guess it depends on what you're seeing and like yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, if it's a really bad movie, I'm just gonna talk through the entire thing and just joke on it. With oh, you, you know me too. Yeah. Exactly. Or you can just uh, get a video camera, take it back to your place, and then make a movie. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Is this what the first date still? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, if you're doing it right. <laughs> a night in a night in shoes, a night in heels. It's a dead end thrill, right? <laughs> That's a dead end thrill. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Evan, <laughs> what about me? What's up? The topic? <laughs> Next topic? The topic at hand? Next topic? No, the topic at hand. Yeah, what, what, topic? what did you do? Uh, what first do you mean? Date? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> what do I do on the first day? Do you not? Yeah. What date? would you do? What, what's your standard? Are you setting a standard for yourself, or are you? Are you selling just yourself? Keeping it regular, regular. Like I've done games, both. Like. Where I've you know gone above and beyond, and I felt like that was just me setting myself up. With for my failure. experience, I've had guys like try and sell themselves, and yeah. it doesn't work. It doesn't. It's weird. It it's, backfires. Yeah. Later on. You can't. It backfires. I'm like, oh, this guy's a dick. Run. Like he's not. You know, he's just like full of himself, and he wants to talk about himself. Like you, you if but you I'm can't dope. make a conversation. Well, <laughs> no, I, I, exactly. <laughs> you can recognize that you're dope and that like kind of energy will, you know, it'll confidence, yeah, it'll right. yeah. confidence but what? not overzealous confidence. <laughs> if I'm going to hear you talk about like, I'm trying to think of an example. The way I be setting up these jokes and punchlines. Uh, like, yo, girl, I, I figured that out in like two tries. Yo, my pacing on stage? Crazy. You know how many times you <laughs> told me to figure out Francis my, Scott my, and Key? Like, my, get out of here. My crowd work? <laughs> plugging your jokes. Stop plugging your jokes. Insta familiar? What? what? <laughs> one take. <laughs> one take. Hey. Did that. Didn't one even write that one. the dome. Oh, told you. <laughs> so. Uh, Who's paying for your Netflix? Huh? Huh? I pay for my own Netflix. <laughs> oh, you do? Why would you do that? Ooh, Actually, I don't pay for Netflix. I take oh. it away. I don't pay for Netflix. I did a free trial just to watch Dave Chappelle. But <laughs> I got Netflix and I took it away because I'm standing with Monique. She is suing she's Netflix. Still with this shirt. Wait, she, no, she's, she's suing me for discrimination. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, no, for discrimination and gender bias. Yeah, relax, ma. Nobody. She has proof. Go do your shit on. on, on all she do, all she has to do is prove. They called her a nigger. Know that they have bias against. It doesn't have to be against her. It could be anybody. So she can go through their history but of all the money that they've offered people one and thing what they have. I would like it. to put forward. What's is up? Monique really popping? No, nobody Let's wants to watch real. her stand up. I'm sorry. She She's is done, an Academy Award winning do actress. Don't do that. How many Oscars and Academy Awards she became does Amy Schumer have? <laughs> She, 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 is funny. she needs that bag. But how many Academy Awards? What's her resume? It doesn't matter. What's her resume? Your it's resume right. stands for itself. Let me ask you this. Could there be somebody that does open mics every day in New York City that's funnier than Dave Chappelle? No. Nah. That's like saying that there's not somebody at the Rucker that's busting ass and ball that's not And they can't, the play, the, yeah, they can't play in the NBA. Because they could probably beat Kyrie in a one-on-one, but they're not a better basketball if, if player. You can, if you can beat somebody in a one-on-one, that means you're better. No. Mm. Because there's more than a one on one versus the <laughs> NBA. A one on one versus the NBA, that means you're a better overall basketball player. That means your basketball IQ, that means your mindset in the field at hand is expanded wider than no, this one person with a specific down. skill who might like be better. It means you, you can target weaknesses one on one. You can target a person's weaknesses one on one. It doesn't mean you're necessarily an overall better person than them or better That's at exactly that skill. That just means that you took advantage of a weakness. You exposed them yeah. for a weakness. Because a bone collector isn't a humanitarian <laughs> like Dwayne Wade. And LeBron James, so <laughs> just yeah. saying. Listen, Whack. the professor could get into that. But back with Monique, uh, <laughs> no point. Uh, Monique <laughs> is suing. Do we feel like she? You say you, no. We don't care. You don't. You don't care. We don't care. Akai, Not do you really? care? Akai, do you care? For what? the narrative, I care because uh, it's giving light to something that is going on. Not really. Netflix yes. better give Monique the fucking bag. That's okay, all she wants. She want no. Go go to Disney Plus and do a stand up over there. She can, but Netflix Good. has built the name on comedy specials. So no, with haven't. Netflix are sweating. They just bought Nickelodeon. Like they, it's yo, lit. Rocket yeah. Power. They got nothing yo, else. Dog, they, they're and all I'm not Netflix. watching any of that. <laughs> Son, I'm watching. Two all Angry Beavers. What? what? Sorry. Kablam. Woo. Woo. Oh Kablam. my God! Kablam. Oh man! That I was feel a show. like we're gonna watch those shows and be like, "Yo, what the fuck were we doing?" <laughs> 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 regular dancing Kablam lobsters. Equality. I don't care. That's lit. A <laughs> <laughs> Rinder Stimpy? They get Rinder Stimpy? But the thing is that they have to. Oh, no, yeah, because what, they could do what, Di- what Disney did. What Disney put up the little um, the, they, they put up a disclaimer. It was like, "Yo, back in the day, this shit was fucked up, but." We gonna show y'all anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, what have they done that oh, for on Disney Plus? They, they did that for the Looney Tunes. 
They have uh, mm, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, so what's the Mickey Mouse one? Oh, yeah. Uh, Ball uh, ball yeah. A pristine oh, racist. <laughs> was a pristine. Oh, the owner of Tom and Jerry was literally. Never mind. <laughs> but Netflix is scrambling. I feel like they're scrambling now. No. So they. And the OG. Well, Okay. Netflix opened the freaking gateway what? for all these other They services. did. Netflix yes, is becoming sure. blockbuster. Yeah. No, 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 They're no, no, going to no, get blockbuster. They're becoming no, blockbuster. Like they it's Walmart blockbuster. to Amazon. The only reason why I say that. Walmart took over the game. Now Amazon's coming. Like Netflix took over the game. Now Disney, like streaming services are coming. Listen, as soon Walmart as Disney opens supermarkets. And the fact that Netflix doesn't own over. shit, they just license product. That's what they've been surviving off of. But now they that these time. products that have been licensing, they're making their own streaming services. So they're taking it away from Netflix. You have nothing. The competition and, field is And wider. they also mm. started with like the Netflix original series. And now you've got yeah. Hulu original series. I'm serious, yeah. I think. I'm like the yeah. Amazon original series. Yes. And those are like something that was an Amazon original series, like won an Emmy or some kind of yes. award. Yes, they've been winning Golden awards. Globe, the boys is dope. One thing that Disney won't be able to do is you can't Disney Plus and chill because you're not going to put on... But you can do Hulu. Avatar and just start but, having sex. Like but really Disney owns okay. Hulu. You can Hulu and chill. Avatar as a movie sucks. Yeah. It's Thank not you. good. I've, I've been saying that for I've weeks. It. It's, just like, oh, it's Blue Book Honest. It's Blue three Blue hours Blue. long. <laughs> no, it's not good. I mean, shit. because it was so like technologically innovative, yeah. people were like, whoa. And they made, oh, it's so cool. It's, it's, it's not a good movie. They created the 3D the genre. The whole movie, you're like, what the fuck is happening? Exactly. And you, I... I really disregard what you just said about you can't like what is it Disney Plus and chill. You can't Disney Plus and chill. What so what do we be uh, when you be fucking what be on TV? Recess. Let's the office. One time CNN was on and I was like I can't It'd do this. The most, <laughs> They're like, talking about Trump. <laughs> shit. Nah, but if it's something good like Martin, you ain't like I've sports stopped center? during Martin. I've stopped eating. Uh, yeah, that's Martin, Martin is. and turn around yeah, and like, laugh at the <laughs> joke like yo he killing fam <laughs> he killing fam <laughs> like, really cause Martin used to no, fuck it, it can't, it can't be just yeah. anything I'm trying to think of something on Disney that would like work though nothing like Toy Story you never no. fuck with do- you go from you got a friend in me to having a friend in you no that's weird uh, uh, <laughs> you got a no, but the part where the, they're doing the montage with like Jesse and like the owner, like the sad song when somebody loved me, I would cry and be like, "Hold on, one second." Yeah, no. <laughs> I mean, I've been watching like fucking Goof Troop and. No, I'm watching the goof, like if the goofy movie. Oh, you, you know what? Really? So Maybe I, 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 extremely goofy movie, I, 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 which is Loki the better one. Yeah, oh, extremely goofy movie, yeah, yeah. the one where they do the disco yeah. sequence. But what about mm-hmm. like first one or a little one? bit second of Mickey? One. First one is That's when he like goes to the concert. Yeah, disrespectful. But what if yeah, you get a little Mickey and Dicky? Mickey and Dicky. Yeah. Next, next topic. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a nah. tone produced joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 he mastered that one. No. <laughs> he mixed and mastered that <laughs> he mixed and ma- Written, produced, edited. <laughs> he did all of it, guys. You know, how does he do it? <laughs> what you go? Summer Walker says she's canceling her tour dates for her I'm so anxiety. Sick of Summer Walker. I'll fight you right now. I swear to God, I I'm pu- sick I, of her. I'll swing on you right she's now. She's doing that for attention, bro. Are you serious? Yes. Mm. What's the it's, attention? What's the attention? She has face tattoos. You don't want attention? <laughs> Are you kidding me? What? You have face tattoos. I, you know, I'm glad, like, because like, I think Ariana Grande had been kind of struggling with the same thing, too. When like, that I'm whole gl- Manchester thing happened with right, Ariana Grande, right. she said, I, mean, I can't be touring. Right. I mean, that's, like, a uh, definitely a bigger... It's something. It's an right. emotional trauma. Mm. But I don't think, like, I don't think she's, um, what's the word? I don't think she's obligated to, like, let people know exactly what's going on with her life. Like, I think that, like, for an artist to recognize, like, I need the time to, like, take a break is, um... You know, it's like strength. She yeah. named her tour the first and last tour. Because it was gonna was going to be the first and last. Happen. No, but she knew she had anxiety. It was her just like, yo, let me try it. I know I'm not into it. going to be her angle. And also, she no. blew up so fast. That yeah. can be very, like, intimidating. And I think that maybe a part like, of it. And people, like, love her. I don't know she why. They don't have enough up. song to listen to. The what are you her. talking about? Have you not heard this album? The, the album wasn't that good. The album was amazing. What are you talking bad. about? I, I have to I listen to the album again. But first listen, I was like. It's good. You. That album is just, really good. Like it has ABC a lot of repeat. Well, I told you. 3, I told you that times. before I even heard it. <laughs> 3,000 physical. Don't do that to Davies. <laughs> no, I, think, that. I, that I think a, a lot of... <laughs> no, I hate when you guys skew the numbers for your arguments. Don't do that. Matter. A lot of female artists in hip-hop, I think, are trying to do the SZA thing, and it's not working. Yeah, they, yeah leave that to her and Rihanna, because Rihanna yeah. does all those SZA's music. I hate you guys. And she was a rea- uh, SZA album. But she really has social anxiety. I so she get, can't perform. So don't get tattoos on your face. What does that have to do with social anxiety? People are going to stare at you if you have a tattoo on your face. 
that, that, that comes gonna, with it. It's not about being stared at. It's about like you not feeling comfortable. Well, they give you in if you're walking it, in public, I, it's more of a performance thing, thing yeah. as it is like a physical. Yeah, like I'm get on stage all the time, and I'm just like, yo, like I wanted to be a stand up comedian since I was 12 years old, and I still had to learn how to have stage presence. Like I wanted to be on that stage. So ever since you were this height, you wanted to be a comedian. I'll Ooh. fight you right now. That was First good. the summer <laughs> walking slam. That, that was a good one. That wasn't a good one. That was no. terrible. Don't laugh. <laughs> don't hype this up either. <laughs> I see you over there with your little woos. <laughs> don't woo nothing, nigga. My headphones don't work, but I can hear you. <laughs> He's not soundproof. <laughs> okay, so Aubrey Drake is horrible live. He can't sing live, but he's a great performer. He just annoys me so much, and I really I don't mean, know why. I don't, don't want to do that. Social Aubrey. anxiety. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I'm Drake High. So, sure. Well, that's why he got booed. That's, that's because it was because it was like you can't fucking sing, nigga. You just trying to be fuck off the stage. Bring that's out it. the Franks and, and, and the weekend can sing live. <laughs> the dancing Franks. Huh? The weekend can sing good live. Who? No, the weekend. The weekend. Yeah. Are you serious? He cannot sing. He good sounds live. the same. He sounds like he sounds like a goat. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm sick of you. He can't sing live. Either way, that has nothing to do with social anxiety. So I don't like this. Isn't a I'm gonna music podcast? You gonna look it up? Gonna it's look not a music podcast. It is today because I'm here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh wait a minute. That doesn't. I matter. was waiting to say that. That's not fair. <laughs> wait a minute. There we go. See. <laughs> Go. Social anxiety disorder, a chronic mental it. health condition in which social interaction causes irrational anxiety. For people with social anxiety disorder, everyday social interactions cause irrational anxiety, fear, self self conscious, and embarrassment. Thank you. So doing meet and greet, standing on stage with thousands of people so watching that's what you. Nothing to do, yeah, with your physicality. Yeah, like I have tattoos, and I'm not like I'm deathly but afraid you don't have to be face tattoos. You don't know Face that. Face tattoos and social anxiety oh, don't not correlate. It's, <laughs> it's a knife. It's a knife. It's a knife. But social anxiety and tattoos, there's no correlation. You get tattoos because you want tattoos. Face tattoos. It's, you get it's different whatever you want tattoo. the tattoo. You get it because you want it. That's just what you want Attention. to do with your but body. Even, it it's her be, body. Like even if she's like dressing super funky or whatever, like just physically yeah. or like she shaved her head. Or she like, got her body done like. But who's that? Like that's for her. She didn't do that for. I mean, I'm not. I'm not gonna talk about that on mic. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> I have a different opinion. But it's for attention, bro. Yeah, so you... now that you have attention, you get that for yourself. Getting a regular tattoo. Phil, I'm yourself. getting. As soon as I get rich, tattoo, you could have got that face tattoo anywhere Phil. else. Can, what is the face tattoo that she has? She has two face tattoos, like kind of right there by her cheekbones, and then another one like, by her. What eyes. are they? Like um, one's like a teddy bear. I think it's like a heart on one of them a little bit. They're not big. Okay. They're very yeah. small. And she covers them with makeup when she's out in public. They're not like the because she wants the tattoos. She doesn't want them to draw attention, so she covers it on your ass or something. Damn, (laughs) why on your face? She wanted it on her face for whatever meaning it has to her, and she knows that it causes people to bring extra unwanted attention that she suffers from anxiety. I see a lot of she covers it. I see a lot of women getting like smaller face tattoos recently. I think it's like it's be like kind of trending a little bit. It's a little bit trendy and the fact that she's rich and famous, like come on, she can do that if she wants to do that. So I'm just saying, especially for the fact if she wants to get the face tattoos, she can get whatever tattoo she wants. Suffering from anxiety oh, is a whole bad. other Yeah, you issue. can still be like yeah. an anxious person and like have face tattoos. Yeah. Because you could not be that, like when she got those tattoos, she may have like felt like the baddest bitch on earth, but like she may have become this anxious like socially. Because she has her own person. She she's twenty five. She has a personality that's her own personality. So it's like you're trying to make it seem like she's because she has anxiety. She's not allowed to have a personality and not have like these characteristics about her or not have these no, feelings no, 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 and no. how she, her because image of how she views herself. Anxiety. Don't put on this facade of some shit that you're not. What do you mean? What's the facade? Face tattoos. What? How is oh a face tattoo a facade? You know, because we're disagreeing. Yes, Hold we're up. just yes, we're just. We're you saying time. someone with a face tattoo has never been depressed? Thank you. People handle social anxiety. Silence. Very <laughs> thank you. Oh, no, very thank point. you. Thank but, you. But still, that's, thank it's, you. It's for attention, guys. We can't even talk about the real shit, man. Twinkie's making a cereal. Ew. <laughs> I might be here for that. Can... Ew. Are we like here for the so what? They yeah. enter in the the twink, Twinkie's entering the cereal. Is game. it gonna be like a solid crunchy, or is it gonna be just like? Bush, like I don't know how Son, it would be in milk. Ew. I was grocery shopping today. I saw there was a Sour Patch Kid cereal. Ugh, These niggas are seen making that. anything. I have seen that. They want us to die. <laughs> yeah, they really do. They just, like, just put milk in it. It'll taste fine. Like, no. <laughs> First off, milk is trash. So let's no. go there. Hey, uh, there you go. The, the guy who's like the milk 
what's his uh, what's his like title? The but like man? the CEO of like milk. <laughs> All of milk or some shit. shit. You know what I'm mad at? I've been through my entire life and I never thought, hey, is there a CEO of milk? <laughs> Probably not. I don't know what his title is, but he filed for bankruptcy. <laughs> he didn't sue. Um, he was he like. A heavy lawsuit from Silk <laughs> and he, Almonds. He didn't have enough face tattoo, too. So. He didn't have enough face tattoo. He might. It's called. Really? Uh, privilege. You can't even. <laughs> why, yeah. why would you? I don't trust anybody with a face tattoo. Sorry. Don't come around me. There's that. Gets a face I kind of almost week. want to get a face tattoo just to like prove you yeah, wrong. Just to like, show exactly. next episode, like, ah, guys, Mo- I did I it. <laughs> <laughs> Motorola Razors is releasing a new flip phone. They look kind of smartphone. Hard. They look hard. Are we here for that? They, they look hard. All these like clout Instagram baddie girls are gonna get them. Yeah, and promote it. Then nobody's gonna show their likes and they're gonna be upset. But <laughs> they're still gonna have the iPhone. They're like just gonna buy it just yeah. to look cool. Exactly. If Psychic came out with a like a smart joint, I'd get that and keep my iPhone. I might if they made smartphones with the keyboard at the bottoms facts I would definitely get into it like attach it I've seen some I've seen some but no I don't don't know I think smartphones are just running out of innovation they're just like doing anything for a gimmick to get people to buy it 16 cameras on the new yeah but I'm like just give me a chip so I can download some shit to my brain uh, three iPhone 11 Pro you don't you don't want to see my phone I have a five can you escort her off the podcast yeah, premises? Please, um, because I don't need to upgrade my phone. Stop talking. Huh? Get out. Gonna go <laughs> they, actually, Fine, I'll leave. Apple announced that they said uh, anything below a five. Like below a five, five. But you have like another year. A five. Or probably like. Yeah, I know. Years. I'm like, it's Apple really is going to explode. Like, what are you waiting on? What's going on at home? It works. Like, like, who hurt you? Why do you have an iPhone 5? It works, so I'm a person with face tattoos. I don't want to spend... Move that bang. Let me see something. (laughs) Let me just rub this. (laughs) Video of man saying men should take care of... Turn up. Man, I had a 5 for a long time. Yeah, we were judging you behind your back. I just updated. Don't roast me. You, you just updated one. I though. knew, I knew it was gonna come up. I was like, they better not talk not about phones. <laughs> we all have ours out. You're the only one who didn't put their phone <laughs> on the know, table, like, and now we know out. why. No, no, no. Take she has an Android, out. actually. It's, it's for the YouTube. Yeah. For the YouTube. Come on, guys, subscribe. Put it out. If her screens crack, <laughs> that's a whole do. That's a whole new topic. No, it's not. Ew. Ew. No, it's so small. I calculated it away. It's like an archaic. Like no, I'm kidding. What was the story you was gonna touch on, Gabe? Tamar Braxton says Osreen. men who lay with you but don't want to have sex are gay. What do you oh, mean lay Alexa, with can you? you? Can you? Oh, like my ex who would just lay with me and wouldn't do, have Do you think he was gay? You never called no. him gay. <laughs> she did call him gay. You didn't By call him back. gay. In the group <laughs> chat, he called him gay. In the group no, chat. No, no. He, was, he, he was like the the most like um like stereotypical like I'm not like he would beat people up. We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> oh. He would start fights on the street. Like, he had a business. He could be gay and start fights. Yeah, but he was, like, very, like, <laughs> women. He was very, uh, he he was a certain way when he talked about, like, gay He's, people. Oh. So. Uh, he wasn't an ally. Drop he was, name. but he was more of an ally for a profit of his own business. He's like, I'm going to put a gay flag outside so I get more business kind uh, of thing. He's mm, never going to hear this. He so monetized them. Okay. Yeah, he so monetized I was like, mm, I don't know about that. And the whole, like. Uh, you know, trans movement and like things like that. He just like wasn't about it. Also, coming from like an older generation, it makes sense. But Man. well, I have the Tamar Braxton post right here, ladies and gentlemen. Let me read it for you right now. <laughs> <clears throat> the truth is, ladies, that these dudes out here really do be gay. <laughs> <laughs> the end. No. <laughs> oh it ain't enough money, beauty, hair, babies in the world to keep them. They want dick. Period. <laughs> Period. <laughs> It's nothing wrong with you, but they will find every reason in the world to make you not good enough. You can lay in bed with you for three, four, ten days, and he don't touch you. It's not you! He want a man! And that's on my mama! <laughs> Didn't she just get out of a relationship with that's Tank? That's on my mama? That's no. what she said. She just got out of a relationship with Tank, so that's a whole different like other... <laughs> but a little cool like that. <laughs> nah, talk about it. Discuss you know, what, 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 what type of toxic. I don't think so. Yeah, I think like what if like you just expect dick constantly? <laughs> That's a little. Ashworth. That is. It's a, a very aggressive. toxic way of thinking, and women need to stop doing that. Stop trying to emasculate men because they don't want to sleep with you. Maybe we're tired. Some dude posts he's like, "Damn, I just worked a twenty-hour shift and I'm mad. I just wanted to sleep." Because apparently, I'm just gay. And people also <laughs> expect like. 
I think there's a pressure on men of like needing we like, can't they say no always, to sex. yeah yeah like men, men we, we we need like our, our periods on like we need we need something like that to be like oh no what? i can't because i'm what? my period, my period. Yeah, cramps no. like men need one of those excuses that's, that's a biological so why can't we say no that's, to sex a, no wait. we need an excuse that women yeah. won't just be like oh no we like just a need polite to, we just need to, to communicate no. better so just <laughs> say no yeah <laughs> it's like it's all all it is i'm like you could just also say no conversation hey I don't want to have sex today. You said that so simply. All we can just say is just say no and it works? Yeah. For, yeah. I mean, if you tell yeah. me why. What happened to just having a because conversation? Because I don't want to? Because I'm... If I yeah. said because I don't want to, is it is an argument? Mm, wait a minute. What, 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 what kind of they, they, they don't they say the truth. They, they communicate the truth. I need they, you to they, suck they my toes today. But I, I don't want you to. You better start sucking these big toes today. Better get out, get off your ass. I don't even know where. How do we get in? I don't know. know. He's been forced against his will. I heard was something about big toes. It's like, you gotta say something. You gotta watch the last one. No, no. There's all of them. I think I don't want to. Um. Is a little is is a little bit aggressive. I think if oh, you why? explain like if you say I don't I'm not feeling it right now because of X Y and Z like I'm not feeling it right now because I'm tired I'm not feeling it right now because I don't know like something happened in my family I just need time like I'm not like in the mood right now. But that's truth, totally fine. If, if the truth is just I just don't feel like it like that's not okay. I would be okay with that if you like were honest with me. Yeah. I don't believe. That. I think it might. No, come up later. I probably <laughs> think it might come up later. Yeah, I, I, I don't believe that. But okay, okay. Eh, just have a conversation. You Actually, it depends on. It depends on. I should even went to. It's a very mm-hmm. adult thing to do. What you, by just saying, "Hey, I." Does that I, work? I just, okay. Does I just it work? I hear what you're saying. I think we're just not there as a society yet. That's terrible. I think it also. <laughs> it, it depends on how how turned on I was at the point that oh, you tell yeah. that you said. You can't that to tell me. a super you can't, girl. You can't do foreplay and do all that stuff and be like, "I'm not in the mood." For you can't session. do that. No, okay. Then I'll be mad. I'll I'll, be uh, see? That sounds like blueberries. You see? That's what that sounds like. Blueberries. <laughs> now That's be, what they say. I'll be pissed if you go out of your way to turn me on and then you're like, "No, nah, I'm not feeling it though." I'm not like, so what was all that? It was, I was for fun. fun. It was for you. Girl, for fun. No. <laughs> it was for you. What are you talking about? But okay. nothing happened. Because I shaved and I I knit myself, so I'm not feeling the most yeah, confident exactly. right now down yeah. here. So okay, I'm okay. So you can tell me that. I'll be a little bit pissed, like to start, but then I'll like understand. You just need to tell me. Bad. You need to communicate that with me. You won't get this later. I'm a what? You're gonna make a joke the next day and just like, be like shaved any accidents? Well, hey, yeah, exactly. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm, you know, I feel the way about that. Please don't. Yeah. That was a very trying time for me. You know, I was I was pained by that. Guys, we're, we're basically at the end. We touched everything. We touched on everything, guys. Did we? Yeah, we actually did. Damn. I was surprised. Yes, we did what? it. PayPal's not supporting... Oh, yeah. the sh- Pornhub. Pornhub models. Why do you say pot hub? Apparently, it was because Pornhub, Pornhub like, <laughs> w- wasn't paying something or were, like, abusing their power. Yeah. But, I mean... I, I stand with Pornhub. Hey, man. I got cash app. I don't use PayPal over here. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, I'm never sending money through PayPal anyway, so... Yeah, just, I mean, if you want to PayPal yeah. us, just, hey, Evan, come and say, hit me up. <laughs> Send something through for the pod. Get some exclusive content. I give you the password into the access to the Big Red XXX Snapchat oh, no, no, story. No, it's not. Oh, no. damn. It's over? No. Damn, I crazy. So. Desist. But, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, will be seen. <laughs> this is the end. So, guys, this has really been great. Alexa, thank you for coming. Thank, thank you guys for having me. Yeah. Any last again. things you want to, you know, plug your... Um, yeah, so my EP is out now. It's called Healing. You can find it on Apple Music, Spotify, uh, all your streaming services. Um, it's under Alexa Zaro. And I have a show at the Bitter End on December 15th, uh, 7 to 7.30. It's a Sunday. Come out for half hour. It'll be, be a good time. Gabe, any plugs? Uh, still go get my book, yo. Y'all, y'all, it, the sales been stagnant and my, my rent due. They sleeping on you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, y'all sleeping on me. So go get my you book. You can't use that. Come yeah, on, my man. My rent due. No? Not my rent due? <laughs> the first is coming. Yeah, it's a, hey, there it is. Oh, get the Kindle. It's 9.99. Yeah. Y'all come. have a show coming up, right? Tom? Exactly. All right, fam, I'm right here. <laughs> my bad, my 50. Bad, I'll bad. do it for you. <laughs> I, I'm funny the new comedy show, December 14th, $10 at the New York Post Cafe. We're going to be there, guys. This was episode Woo. 71. Oh, my gosh, the same weekend. Yes. Yeah. 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 Party yeah. all weekend. You go to our they show, and then you go buy his book, Algorithms. Woo. Fuck the NFL. Fuck guys, you. it's episode 71. We out this bitch. Peace. Woo. Yeah, 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 yeah.